you know, Pete Carr and I go back way before uh, my Muscle Shoals uh, connection, my uh, entry into the, into the Shoals area, because um, after the Hourglass broke up, which was the band that preceded the Almond Brothers, Pete moved back to Daytona Beach. And for about six months or so, Pete and I had a band together, a little blues band that we play on the pier on the beach. And so then uh, after that, I went back to Cincinnati, and he came to Muscle Shoals. So our history, you know, started in our teens, and it just sort of picked up uh, after a few years of being apart. And um, Pete was not only a great producer and guitar player, but he was just an all-around music man. I mean, the guy could do anything. He could produce, he could sing, he could write, he could play. You know, I did my first solo record, and so Pete, at the same time, was signed to Atlantic as a guitar player, instrumentalist. And I played bass on his first uh, record. I think I don't know if I'm, I don't think I played on the second one. Maybe part of it, but he was doing like kind of fusion blues pop fusion guitar records for Atlantic. Really cool records. And so the record label decided, you know, why don't you guys team up together? You know, you play on each other's records. You're friends. You've been around a long time together. And uh, so that's when we formed LeBlanc and Carr. And it was kind of a time when duets were really big. It was Loggins and Messina, and there was Hall and Oates, and duos were really kind of thriving then, you know. So it, it was a good fit, and uh, we cut a great record together and had a big hit called Falling, you know. 